is deep anger in the Muslim world this afternoon over comments Pope Benedict made during a lecture at a German university on Tuesday night. The comments and the reaction are everywhere, soaring up the most viewed lists at Google, Yahoo, CNN, and CBS News, and more. The Pope's lecture concerned the compatibility of faith and reason in today's world, which sounds benign. But during the lecture, the Pope quoted the words of a 14th century emperor, words that the Pope described as startlingly brusque. Here's the emperor's quote repeated by the Pope. Show me just what Muhammad brought that was new, and there you will find things only evil and inhuman, such as his command to spread by the sword. Again, the words of a 14th century emperor repeated by the Pope, who neither endorsed nor condemned those words. Joseph Cumming is with the Yale Divinity School. Joseph, first off, we've got a comment from the Pope's spokesman. Quote, the Holy Father's intention is to cultivate a position, a position of respect and dialogues towards other religions and cultures, and that clearly includes Islam. Now, in the context of this speech, why was the Pope using this quote? Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you, Monica. Let me just uh, clarify that I think that the Pope did in his remarks uh, distance himself somewhat from the quotation because in the German original, which does not come through in the English translation circling on the, cir circulating on the Internet, he, he used a more strongly negative term to describe the crude form, and he said, for us, surprisingly crude. It seems to me he was distancing himself from the tone that the Byzantine emperor had used. But the point he was trying to make had nothing to do with uh, saying something critical about Islam. On the contrary, the, the, the point he was trying to make was about uh, the compatibility of reason and science. And he was feeling that uh, Christians and Muslims would agree that God is a reasonable God and that God does not want us to act contrary to reason. And that was the point that he was trying to make. And so, as you said, the Pope distancing himself, which we saw, too, as we looked at, at, at the transcript here, uh, the, the words, though, that, that we had seen were startlingly brusque in the translation that we had. Uh, but later on, the Pope says that the world needs dialogue between the cultures and religions. Was this just then an unfortunate miscommunication? Well, I think it's certainly clear there has been miscommunication. There are many people in the Muslim world who are very, very uh, distressed uh, by this quotation, which unfortunately has been... Uh, reported uh, by uh, many in the news media out of context. Um, at the same time, I'd say the large majority of Muslims I've talked with, both in the Middle East and uh, here in the U.S., uh, their main concern is they want clarification. They want to understand what did the Pope mean and uh, did he really mean what it sounded like he meant. And the Vatican has, of course, been very eager to explain uh, what he meant and that he did not intend any disrespect to Islam. And so I think that Though there has been, of course, some mis miscommunication, misunderstanding, uh, I'm optimistic that that misunderstanding can be cleared up. Let's talk about the most sensitive aspect of this quote. Is there any truth to this in the historic record? Has Islam been spread by the sword? And, and can that be said of other religions? Uh, well, uh, it's certainly true that uh, all religious faiths and all secular ideologies um, have been used to justify violence as they have been used to teach and promote peace. That's true of Christianity, it's true of Judaism, it's true of Islam, it's true of, of atheism, communism, obviously. And um, I, I think that uh, for those of us who are not Muslims, uh, it's in our interest to partner with those in the Muslim community who interpret their faith as being one that promotes uh, peace and not one that promotes war. And um, uh, the other thing I think that would be uh, incumbent upon those, those of us who are Christians is to remember Jesus' challenge to us to remove the logs from our own eyes before we take the, spooks, spoke, uh, the, the specks out of Muslims' eyes. Now, you said that the Vatican has really worked hard to clarify this. Will this be the end of this, or do you think this story goes on? Well, I, I think that uh, doubtless there's going to need to continue to be some dialogue about this for some time. Uh, there are many in the Muslim community who are very upset about this. But I, I think most uh, leaders in the Muslim community who I know are listening with an open mind and uh, the, the clarifications that the Vatican has been issuing are just the kind that they needed to hear. So I, I think that, uh, that healing and reconciliation uh, can take place on this. Joseph Cumming with the Yale Divinity School. Thanks for your insight today. Thank you.